Uh, welcome back to Power Simulator. It has been apparently two years since the game fully released. Can you believe it? Well, we have played through the game three times, as well as completing all of the specials. And there's new Muckingham files. Free jobs, apparently. They would be under bonus, I believe. Ah, these are actually being categorized now. Alright, and the outer ring is full on one and two. Odd jobs we technically did as part of our previous progress. Uh, I haven't been back and done them all again since. Mucky and Viles Part 3. Clean the submarine and aquarium. So just two maps, but who knows how big they are. It's actually a bit hard to tell because you don't get even a money value. You don't get paid, I guess, for doing these jobs. So yeah, entire Crab Bay area has been hit by a freak wave and that includes our Marine Life Conservation Center. Pre-warned by our friends at Caldera University's Seismology Department that something was happening, so we managed to get an evacuation program going for all the open-air tanks. Please know none of the animals were harmed. In fact, we're up two whelks and a starfish. <laughs> Nevertheless, our swell friend made quite an impression. To be on the safe side, we need to sanitize the place before we reintroduce the animals and open up again. Alright, into the aquarium. Well, I guess we start with the start. Okay, it's the pro washer, but we need to give it a skin. We should do the pacifist skin, I think, for here. Short extension, sure, why not? And clothing. For some reason, we get undressed again. Let's use our research edition. Why not? We're in the aquarium. Nope. And that. So strange seeing the center light. It's normally so full of life. Well, microorganisms, I guess. I suspect this is going to be a big job. What do you reckon? <laughs> the only people to see it like this in decades. Why was it like this decades ago? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Each one of the letters was a separate thing. And we just missed the C. Fantastic. That's a, that's a hell of a way to start the level. I didn't even see if the doctor said anything else after his com comment about first to see it in like this in decades because I got distracted by the dings. Each window pane is also a ding. Good, good. <laughs> I approve of this design. Not such a fan of how it's not even. A oh, okay, we just ticked up to 1%. I think we might be here a while. Well, that's the doors done, more or less. Apparently not properly, though. What's missing? Oh, that's the frame done. Now the doors themselves. Ah, yes. There we go. Got to do this part. Excellent. Door frame, door windows, and the doors themselves, I think, are all good. And let's get this entrance wall done as well. Try and finish off things before we move on. What have I missed on this? Now, apparently something that I couldn't see, that's concerning. Should probably have a bit more of a look around too, shouldn't I? I just dove right in and started cleaning. I actually have no idea about the extent of this facility. All I can say is I'm glad that I got the Pro Washer. High ceilings. Taller than I expected. So let's get the long one out. So I can see the big room up ahead. The Crab Bay exhibit. I don't know if that's the only room or if there are multiple. 
So that will be interesting to see. So it's taking a long time to get any percentage even on these uh, large features. Suggest so that it's a lot. I mean we've got the entire roof and floor and walls of the next room so I guess we just got a bit spoiled by some of the maps either not being very large, having bits already done for us, or in the case of a lot of the Alice in Wonderland ones we did recently, they were open air, so we didn't have to worry about roofs. <laughs> we didn't have ceilings or full walls on like half the maps. There we go. This is also really sticky stuff. Lichen, grime, and more grime. Apparently, grime twice. And lichen is definitely tough. At least it hasn't been here long enough for barnacles. <laughs> I mean, lichen doesn't grow that quickly, so if there's large lichen spots. That can't be fresh from being flooded, surely. Help decorations, that's cool. Be interesting to see what the doctor has to say as we progress. Maybe there's more to this than that we're letting on in the job description. Ding ding ding, triple ding, nice. And the up lights. Yeah. Next wall. I have a feeling some of this is going to start to feel a bit tedious, the fact that we're just going to have duplicates of things. This entranceway is mirror imaged, so... It's doing a duplicate wall now. Well, at least we know what we're doing. Sort of thing we just always appreciate if there's a bit of variation from side to side. be a stalker amongst all this kelp. That's a uh, subnautica sea creature, not just a random person with a camera. In retrospect, calling things stuff like stalkers in games probably not the greatest idea. <laughs> sea dogger. Ding ding and ding and ding. Go and ding. So the light's done. Probably leave the floor for now, to be perfectly honest, I feel. We should work our way around the ceiling and walls first of pretty much the entire place before we work our way down onto anything else. <laughs> Big crab. I should have done a tie-in with like Monterey Bay Aquarium or something because they are always keen for a collab. <laughs> Really hoping that each of the individual sign letters would be dings, much like for the ticket office sign. Never mind. Just getting greedy now. Ah, oh, we meant to get all of these angles. There we go. Just jump around, jump around. 
Uh, entrance rock wall. What am I missing on that? I'm going to guess some awkward angle that's hard to see. Uh, or not. Just a bit that I hadn't even looked at. Okay. Cross the threshold now and do the frame. The rock wall on the other side, which goes all the way up. So maybe we should just get started on the ceiling instead. Wait, does it continue all the way around? Yeah, it's still the same wall piece all the way across here. Wow, okay. The shallows. These guys really are supportive fans. I know it's just a very common thing to call things, but let's put you on the bit that I've cleaned. I was kind of hoping that these separate rock pieces would be distinct dingables. are a very large feature. Rock pool wall is separate at least, that's good. But it does continue all around the entrance way. Right. Gotta try and make sure I get all of the angles. Does it continue all the way along here? Because I'm just noticing that it's not really ticking down as fast as I would have thought. If it was just these bits, does it? It goes all the way... Arch rock wall goes all the way around this side as well. Okay, yeah, this is quite a big map. Oh god, there's a whole nother tunnel. Into the ocean exhibit. Oh, do I have to clean in there as well? Where's the door? Through here. Oh, this is huge. This is going to take me a long... Okay, this, uh... This might be a multi-parter. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I did get stuck into this sooner rather than later. Because I was originally going to leave it. And think, ah, you know, we'll... We'll come back to this another time. We'll, we'll do it at a later date. Now I'm kind of wishing I had, to be honest, because I'm going to be starting this. And uh, not finishing it for a while, I suspect, because I do have other things on my plate. Things that have a time limit. Whereas this doesn't have a time limit. Well, we'll see how much we can do today. That the fact that we don't even get paid for this, right? That's not what I wanted. Oh, we get... Okay, it's a total of $400. And that's it. We get so ripped off on these jobs. Not that we need the money, to be fair. There's just not really any incentive to do these jobs at this point. But it is cool. I mean, we have literally bought everything there is to buy, and we have over seven grand left over, so it's not like we need the money, or that there's even any use for the money <laughs> that we had. But this is a huge map for what they give you. I think I would have almost preferred it if they broke it up into the separate rooms as separate maps. Because then, yes you can stop and start, but you can't do anything else while you're doing this one or you lose your progress. It, it warns you about that. You can't start any other bonus jobs or anything. I feel that's a bit restrictive, the fact that it's such a huge map, and now you're locked into doing this one until you're done. Maybe they could have worked out a better way. 
Um, what are we missing on this wall? The, the rock wall. Let's just clean some of these mics, I guess. Sure, why not? Ah, is it down this bit here? Does that count? It does count, apparently. That's probably just going to be random bits that I haven't cleaned thoroughly enough. Around the frame there. Just don't really want to move on until the, this wall is done. Okay, let's let's learn about hermit crabs, shall we? Social crustaceans, shell changes, omnivorous scavengers. Eat our residence, Jessica Crabbit, Crabby McCrabface, of course, and Silent Ted. Fantastic. Fake sea sponges. So normally the hermit crabs would live in this. It's the shallows tide pool, apparently. Felt super generous. Okay, then we've got to do the outside of this as well. Okay, the main wall, I probably just have to do the back side underneath the archway. There's no frame on that archway. Light, why not? And this will be it, probably. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All done. Good. Now, I have options. It's like, do I finish this room off and then move on? Or do I work my way around, like, the ceilings of all of the rooms first? go to the furthest point and then work our way back perhaps I don't know if this is meant to be like a loop that it then ends up so this is to the ticket office going that way is there like a gift shop a different direction okay, we have to explore a little bit more again Either way, I guess we can do the shallows first. And what have got? The kelp forest? <laughs> Red grasses? Really looking forward to cleaning the Lost River, guys. facing the other way to be honest. Is that a sea it is, it's a seahorse. Ah, oh, that's cute. Yeah, you can see it's shallow ceiling seahorse, I didn't even look at that. <laughs> that's cool. didn't even really see it flash when I cleaned it because it, it's all just that same bright blue anyway. Okay, it's cleaned as far as that corner. Now we can work our way down this way. I don't really want to stand in the exhibit. So we'll try and clean all the way to the corner from here. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm going to jump all over this thing before long. Let's just get up closer. Get a bit 
it's in right into the corners. Jump up on the rockers. It should let you use the SpongeBob skin and gun and stuff in here. <laughs> I know it's they want it to be independent of any of the DLC as such, but we never actually got that appearance to unlock separately, did we? It's it's only if you're using the DLC. There we go, it's the ceiling out of the way. I do enjoy a game that I can have a drink while I'm still playing it. <laughs> Same as you can, kind of, in Truck Simulator. I always still forget, never end up drinking as much as I should, but it's nice that the option is there for if I remember. Let's do what we can from here, but then we're going to have to walk up the rocks to do the bits in behind. But we want our extension on to do this bit. We won't want the extension on to do that bit or anything else that I'll be walking on. Okay, now these letters presumably are going to ding independently. So let's get ready for the shallows, shall we? Maybe, yep. They take a little bit more effort than the opening. can't get like the full chain ding going on we don't get it all at once is that too large to just wash over in one swipe but I'm glad that it's individual letters and just not one big sign <laughs> all right stubby do along the tops of here clean off the rock pool wall and the tops of like this stuff here, this top side of the starfish, sea star, should really be called. They aren't fish. That old habits die hard. Good, that's the wall done. The top surfaces of the rocks. So the bar done. Side panel of this part of the rock. They all the yeah, they're all one big rock wall anyway. And we have to come at them from another angle to do the other bits. So let's just clean this wall off first. Don't need the extension when we're standing this close to it. right up the back here there we go you can't hide from me didn't even notice a proper ladder at all here I guess what would you even prop it up on so you must just be expected to parkour over everything there's no way that you would get up there otherwise Right, let's try and clean the rock wall for anything else too much. Oh, it is in segments after all. I must have just been cleaning them at a very similar pace. Good. Rain coral. Sea sponge. Coral tubes. Good. Uh, is that both sides? Okay. Brain coral, another sea star. Right, so, but this is okay. Up to this point here is another big segment. Interesting that it's not a whole piece. 
given how it was making me do the wall as just one big bit previously. But the rock pool is segmented. Oh well. Fine by me. Sea star done. Yeah, so this wall section goes up to this crack. Just gotta crouch down to get a bit of an angle there. More tubes. Get too close and it actually becomes a bit hard to see all the angles because some of them are um, on the undersides of things. There we go. But you can't see if you're standing right up to it. Get these tubes, there we go. And the round coral as well. And the wall is all done. So we can now work on the back side of the barrier. On something. Really get a terrible angle at any of that. Just clean the rear sides of all of this stuff. So I know it's done. So it should ding from when I do it in front. Why is there. Oh, it's bubblegum. Of course it is. I think it was paint, but no, it's pink bubblegum. Because people are disgusting. Right now we work on the floor. Is it all one piece? No, it is separate. So this is demarking this area. Nice. This sea star, there we go, had some angles underneath it. Almost at 20%. Been going for nearly half an hour. Presumably. What am I missing? Ah, oh, yeah, a bit behind the sea star. Cool. I'm basically going to have to look at the PDA and check everything that says shallows is done before I move on. At least the bubble gum just completely disintegrates under the pro washer. What do we got here? Leopard shards. Crab Bay Stingrays and Volcano Crabs. Unfortunately, not currently present. Well, fortunately for them, because I don't think they'd appreciate being power washed very much. <laughs> nice, that's that done. Sea urchins, sea snails, and Muckingham sea marrows. <laughs> well timed ding there. Presumably the sea marrow is basically their version of a sea cucumber. Uh, yeah, I think it's just the floor now. There's the entrance floor. I don't think I was ever realistically leaving this until last, so... We should hit 20% by the time I finish off the floor of both of these rooms, that's for sure. That's a big, like, clamshell, looks like. Just thinking the floor could do with a bit more design on it. The walls are also a little bit featureless. But I guess the emphasis is on the displays, so... Fair. 
Okay, it didn't even tick up a single percent through that whole thing. It just stayed 18. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there we go. 19. Just ticked up. So, yeah. Should hit 20 by the time we finish this room. I'd certainly hope so. Should have started with the submarine. <laughs> That might have been a shorter job. Or not, who knows, maybe it's the size of like the fishing boat. I wouldn't expect it to be, but that said, the picture did show it to be in the dry dock, it looks like. So, could be. I guess at least then we're, we're only cleaning outside in on an object, whereas this we're cleaning everything inside out. Have to do all of the the outside faces of things. Almost finished. There we go, 20%. It was opened in 1904 by local benefactor Phil M. Fromm. Okay. I keep trying to figure out if names are meant to be puns or something. Phil M. Fromm. Oh, philanthropist, yes. Legend has it was inspired by his tearful daughter who found a five-legged crab on the beach and demanded something be done. Okay. Whatever the real reason, Phil's money kept the place going for the first 20 years or so. You need to make sure you invest some stuff to make a fund that can continue to make money. I guess then it would have hit the depression anyway. Oh yeah, I was going to check first that Shallows was definitely done. Shallows, clean, 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 clean. Yes, good. Everything in the Shallows is done. Everything for the ticket office area is done. What about entrance? Yep, entrance is also done. Good. So now we're working on tunnel. Excellent. Which is a very long tunnel. We were thinking the the entrance way in the Hellas and Wonderland set was bad. This is really long and it's not sectioned up at all. I'm never sure of the best way to do ceilings because I, I keep the, the ridge there because it doesn't meet it nicely if I just swipe back and forward it always leaves a bit of dirt on there I guess I should just focus on the main ceiling part I'll come back along and do the ridges when I'm doing the walls which I'll be doing facing them more accurately you like front on Okay, so tunnel ceiling. Okay, got there anyway. And then we have tunnel rock wall, which continues on. Right. Well, we'll do the this tunnel wall first. Wonder if there's going to be anything in these. There is. Yay! Because they wouldn't have had to evacuate there internal exhibits. There's a seahorse and there's some fishies. Very nice. Ding. Hopefully they're not being too disturbed by me blasting the outside of their enclosure. Let's just clean this all the way down to the floor, shall we? I was thinking I'd do like half of it and then come back and do the other half but I've also got to do the floor so I'm going to be doing a lot of back and forwards anyway oh the wall is segmented but the roof wasn't Tap 
egg frame. There we go. Right, that's that wall done. Moving on. I could do with a bit more greenery in their enclosure. It's just going to be the same type of fish in each one, isn't it? <laughs> I would have liked a bit of variety, but I bet it's just going to be pretty uniform. Yep, there's a seahorse, there's the clownfish. And there'll be some angelfish too, probably. No, just clownfish and seahorses in this one. No angelfish. Alright. Around here, work on the frame a bit. What's missing on that? The underside. There we go. Didn't glue the top side as well, but didn't care enough about that. Alright, that's the walls on that side done. Now on the other side. Twenty-three percent. We are creeping up slowly, as Taxi Ride would say. They should have, uh, like, some of the Spongebob houses or something in these tanks. There's a little bit of a easter egg. That would be fun. I've got these little house-like things for the seahorses. Should have made one in just like the shape of a pineapple or something. I might just do the floor as well up to this point. That way I'm not having to run back as far all the way when I get to the end. It's mosaics or something on the floor. It is at least like a sparkly, quartzy sort of texture. I could do it with a bit more design. Right, that gets it up to the same partitioning as the walls. And there's more of the angelfish in this one. different one. Ah, and the gnome, of course. Gotta have a gnome somewhere. I didn't notice any gnomes in the Alice in Wonderland stuff. I would have expected there was one, but I didn't see one. Alright, let's finish the wall along to the tunnel rock wall section is the yeah tunnel rock floor is also different good And this should be everything for the tunnel. It'll be up to almost 30%. <laughs> almost a third of the way there. I mean, it's not as bad as some we've done. And at least there's more variety. The walls and floor are certainly tedious. I wish there was a bit more decoration on them. 
Maybe some posters on the wall to break up the monotony. Say some mosaics or something on the floor would be nice. But it's not like the fire station where it's all just the big flat surfaces or the palace which just had the big exterior walls and interior walls. Right, time to work on the tunnel. What's the best way to start with this? There is no ceiling, it seems. It's just all considered to be wall. Even the bit above us. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess I'm cleaning that bit of the wall first. killed them to put a seam and make it tunnel rock ceiling <laughs> instead. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, even these rock sections, yeah, it's a bit more texture than the flat wall was, but that still feels a bit lackluster. There's a random door in the middle of the floor for some reason. This must be one of those things you stick your heads through. Alright, this one does have a frame around it, that's interesting. Because the entrance way, the archway, going back into the other exhibit didn't have any such thing. The ocean, apparently. Let's clean up to those letters, but not over them just yet. probably could have done is cleaned like half and then gone back for the other half and just had all the dings in a row but it's nice to let one ding finish before starting the next don't you think otherwise they'll all run together and you don't actually get to appreciate the individual dings okay, let's clean the frame this is what I can see of it see if it makes me get a higher angle to do the top. Nope. No, it does not. Alright, that's good. Uh, rock wall did finish. Okay, I didn't realise. I think there was still a bit left over on that one. That's good. Let's do the floor. And then we'll be fully into the ocean area. And yeah, at just hitting 30% now. Oh, there is a big ladder. There was nowhere that I could see to put that in the previous map, but we got by without it anyway. What am I missing on this floor? Ah, the seam. There we go. Excellent. Ocean room floor. Well, we'll do a little bit here, but we'll work our way up to the ceiling. Right, well we have some effigies on top, we've got a whale, and a ray, and a shark. Let's chuck on the long extension for this. We should start with the decorations as well actually. I missed whether or not they added any separate achievements for these levels. I really hope it isn't like a clean the ceiling designs last or something. <laughs> if it's anything, it should hopefully be something that you clean first. <laughs> uh, 
but they often don't seem to add achievements for the free updates. They do add them for the paid DLC though, which I'm two minds about. Personally, I, I don't know. I get it. It's an uh, incentive for people to buy it. I just wish they were categorized separately to the main game in the interface. But having separate achievements for DLC is one thing, at least it's not having separate achievements for multiplayer. Those I really hate, unless it's an exclusively multiplayer game, I really don't like having multiplayer based achievements. If there was an achievement in this to finish a level with three other people in co-op or something, that would be so annoying. Another shark. ceiling as well around all of these until we get down to where the ray is. We need to try and just do those first. Thirty-three percent. Officially a third. There's a big ceiling here. I didn't actually notice what the other enclosures were, just, just that they exist. because we've got to do the inside of the tank, that's all. I think that might be it. We just have the access way to get there. For some reason they don't have separate doors blocking off that would have stopped flooding. Just need to have like bulkheads like you would in an actual ship to block out water. I mean, if their tank broke or something, you'd want to have that option anyway, wouldn't you? Okay, I've missed a massive bit with the ceiling. There we go. <laughs> Thought, oh, the ceiling's almost done. Nope. Nope, because I only did one side. Lichen and grime. It should be like LV or something. Oh. oh, there's a turtle. I like turtles. for a second. It's like, why is there a reflection of lights? So no, that's that's through the glass into the exhibit. Not quite sure why there's round lights in the exhibit either, but this is an annoying ceiling because it like slopes upwards. <laughs> If 
I should put the extra long extension on perhaps. Might actually do that. Stand back a bit more to get into the seam. You know, the extra long. It's just we're on a bit of an angle is the annoying thing. But we do want it to be clean. Maybe that's the idea behind having the ladder, I guess. But then you'd have a really weird angle. There we go. Now let's do the frame. Given that it goes all the way up on that wall. Shouldn't need the extension on for the lower sections of this stuff, but since we've got it equipped anyway, it means we can clean off a lot of this without getting as close. Let's do the full on dot matrix. <laughs> That'll do. Is it low enough? It's going to be hard to tell actually whether or not I cleaned the glass properly because it's dirty on the other side as well. <laughs> okay, we, we don't need the extra long extension on for a lot of this stuff. It's actually making it more annoying, so let's just finish off the bits that do need it, which is those that are further away. Okay, and, and now we can just swap to the short or something for this. That's better. So is that way we can see whether or not we've missed bits? Or better. Oh, there's a vent there. Sus. Oh, the frame has a sort of bezel on it as well. Alright. Uh, that should be fine for the top from here. Anything we shouldn't even have the short on at that point. Alright, let's get up close and personal to this stuff. We can kind of make out if there's something left behind that's still dirty on this side, sort of. Ah, hey, 40%. Nice. Phil went bust in 1927, custodian ship was transferred to the local entrepreneur Wilberforce Thrust. Ah, we're getting some tie-in with Mr. Thrust. Looking through historical financial transactions, the Thrust's primary interest was in making a quick buck from selling the center's prize exhibits. You do surprise me. Public interest disappeared along with the turtles, and the centaur quickly went into decline. Yeah, he probably just used it for money laundering rather than any genuine interest. Good. Vince done. Frame? Nearly finished. Uh, one last vent. Yeah. What's missing on the frame then? Hmm? Hmm. I thought I'd done a pretty good job on the frame. Maybe the inside angles. Around here. Okay, something up in the corner. Cool, that's all good. Wall. Let's get this column done. 
then we'll work our way around to the right and come back and finish at this door because this is the, the no entry door that leads us on see that's like a full on bulkhead there so that shouldn't have flooded through unless it was left open obviously oh that ocean room wall continues around okay I thought because there was a hard inside edge there that that bit there would be separate it was not okay well never mind it's done now <laughs> let's just work our way along to this one which presumably will have the same problem but that's fine hey this is the the way to the gift shop I was thinking that there must be something there as well we don't actually get to go to the gift shop it seems more's the pity This is all part of the... Oh, it's a different wall, apparently. Okay. Couldn't call it, like, the upper wall or something? I thought it was just, like, a cap over where the doorway was, but nope, it goes all the way around here, apparently. So that's different to that, which is the same as that. Oh, but it goes all the way along. Okay, so it's just that stripe. That's different to how it was in the last room. That's kind of weird. Alright. So this white wall goes all the way around. That's really annoying. Didn't, couldn't segment it up at all? Okay. Well, that's going to give us a ton of percent, I guess, overall. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. See, those ones you could do all together, but then the dings all blur and you can't actually hear them, so you don't get to enjoy them as much. Kind of prefer it in many ways when it's just like a ding, 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 instead of <laughs> maybe just a few every now and then, but it's like eight of them all together just blurs. You just can't enjoy them. That was better. Ding, ding. That's a good cadence. Let's stay in the frame. Cool. Well, that's the doors done. This part of the wall that apparently just extends all the way around and is distinct from the wall above it somehow. Just despite just being painted a slightly different colour. Really, this should really have had a seam about here. Never mind. Uh, can we, like, stand on this or something? No. That's right. If I really needed to, I could just use the step ladder. That's fine. We don't. The fact that it doesn't even stop before the next doorway, it just goes all the way around. Okay, well that's... That's up to that point anyway. Because this one does only go as far as the door. We've already done something from behind. So, there we go. Good. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Sustainable fishing practices. Oh look, it's the pelican! What does it say? Can we see? 
What exactly does sustainable fishing practice mean? Does it mean we sustain the fish by throwing worms and fish food directly into the ocean? Or does it mean we train our fishermen and women to be fitter in order to sustain their fishing shifts for longer periods? Could it even mean that when our fishermen and women go fishing, they're really practicing with rods that have nothing attached to them? Actually, it doesn't mean any of these things. Sustainable fishing practice means we practice our fishing in a sustainable way. Which doesn't explain anything. <laughs> it means that you try and sustain the fishing stock. Maybe they'll elaborate a bit more over here. I mean, it says, like, none of those things. But it kind of means all of those things in many respects. Like, all of those things are good for sustainable fishing in general. You know what's even better? Just have fish farms on land in big sheds. And don't disturb the ones that are in the ocean at all. That's an even better idea, just have on-land fish farms where you can recycle as much of the water as possible, control the conditions, and yeah, don't affect the stocks of fish actually in the ocean and just leave them be. There's a few places that have started doing that. Finally got that big upper wall done. Work our way around the lower wall now. Alright, well we may as well do this sign. So what do we got here? Ocean Research Initiative. Oh, that's the submarine I guess that we'll be cleaning. Sneak preview. Did you know that the Crab Bay Marine Life Conservation Centre is actively involved in marine biology research? Thanks to you it is. In fact, all of the plants and animals you see today have been housed here as part of the vital conservation projects run jointly with Caldera University. Here's how it works. University superstar submarine Rowdy Sea Life goes into serious exploration mode to monitor local habitats. If Rowdy finds something's up, our expert retrievals team go into overdrive using state-of-the-art core sampling tubes and animal capture nets. They collect vulnerable marine life for us to house and protect here, perfectly recreating their natural environment within the confines of an aquarium. That's nice, you could also just, I don't know, not have whatever's, stop whatever's impacting them in their natural habitat. But, controlled preservation is a good step. Crab Bay Ecology. It should never be a substitute, but it is a good backstop to then be able to rehouse and replenish stocks. You gonna you gonna ding? Thank you. Information board. What's this one about then? Every year hundreds of people enjoy the waters of the Caldera County coastline. Completely unaware of the unique plants and animals that are literally crawling around their feet. These wonderful, weird, and sometimes dangerous creatures are being constantly threatened by the activities of mankind, and that's, which is where we come in. Together with Caldera University's Marine Department, we aim to reduce the human impact to our local habitats through a process of constant intervention. This music is a little bit too frenetic for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Amazing fact, when the Caldera County Treatment Works became operational in 1967, the Muckingham Sea Marrow almost went extinct. It was only our constant petitioning to get the place closed down that allowed the valuable species to flourish once again. Uh huh. I mean, you do also need to have water treatment, but presumably they weren't actually treating it, they were just dumping it. <laughs> Restricted access. Well, thankfully. We have the key, it seems. It's been left open for us. Yep, there's the wall done. Alright, so now we need to do the floor. <laughs> I also need to put our ladder somewhere, but we'll start cleaning the floor. And then we'll have a clear place to put that down that it won't be in the way. I'm not sure why you need a ladder in here. Not really anything that you need a top-down angle on. Oh, we should do this. What's this picture of? <laughs> a diver 
being hugged by an octopus. Alright. I've seen enough to know where this is going. And then this should just be blank. Let's take the extension off completely so it's not banging into it. edge and top. Perfect. Now the floor is multi-layered at least. If only they'd done the ceiling like that too. At least there was the lights I guess, like the, the animal shapes. spots that I've missed along here but hopefully won't matter too much I haven't done that light yet I was generally doing all of the lights as I came across them but there we go and now the floor in front of the window So we can just go along this way first and then we can do the lip separately. See where it is by the darker accumulation of dirt. Yeah. <laughs> is there even a drain in here? Something they don't really take into account in this game is where is all of the water going? <laughs> imagine that there's a pump or something behind us. I still don't know where it's taking it, but... Okay, that's still the top level of all that stuff. Which means we should now be able to just run along here. There we go. Good. Now, you, uh, let's just pop you up there so that you're out of the way. Thank you. Alright, and is this meant to be like sand, I guess? Very white sand. Almost just slightly too wide to do a single sweep back and forth. Not without standing back a little bit further, and then our camera is more likely to move a bit. So we have the short extension on and stay further back still, but this works. It'll narrow down again as we get close to the end. So just do a little bit of like that just to trim off the sides. Yeah, it's a bit easier. Slightly narrower sweep. Well, 50% of the way there. That's good. <laughs> Halfway there. means I think we're going to take a short break after finishing this floor off, which might get us to 52% even by the end of this. Yep, there we go, 52%. 
but there's going to be a lot of fiddly stuff coming up once we get into the enclosure I think so that might slow us down a bit there we are ocean room floor complete so that should be everything in the ocean bit uh, maintenance door frame let's just get that out of the way too while we're at it uh, it'll be the bit from the other side all right let's just double check so we've got yeah ticket office everything's done tunnel everything is done shallows everything was done restricted access sign is also done ocean tank okay is is different uh, glass and frames were a halfway because of the inside and then we've got ocean room is all clean good then maintenance we're starting on gift shop clean entrance clean excellent we are truly halfway there this this is what i meant by fiddly stuff though 